Hi, I'm Jane Crisco. I'm a digital artist in Halliburton and I do mainly most of my printing here and when I do my digital art on my cell phone it's more spur of the moment when I'm in my vehicle or wherever I'm sitting I just take my cell phone out and I use an application called Autodesk Sketchbook application on my cell phone. I post the videos and the image on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and that's how I do my artwork. So, on the settings, I tap there and I can start recording. It's called time lapse video. So, I touch the time lapse video, and then I touch the screen, and then I go into color wheel, pick my black, and then I just start to draw, and usually squiggles, you know, doodles, whatever. Sometimes I'll get an idea as I go along, and then I touch layers, touch layers again, duplicate, and I do a multiply so the black has a stronger line, and then I go into settings again and do fill. And I touch the screen, and then I can fill in different areas. For some reason it's gray. Let me check that color again. Okay, go back to black. Uh, fill, 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 and then I can go into color if I decide, oh, I want to do a bright color, or any color actually, I can start filling it in like that. And then I'll just work away until I get a feel of something that I really like, and then, yeah, just go with it. It's so basically going with the flow. There are times I'll have emotions that I need to get out, and that'll come out in my artwork, and then that's, piece, that's what I'll call it whatever feeling or emotion. And usually I'll get a word that pops up in my head as I'm doing it and then I'll just post it with that one word. It has more of a poetry feel to it I think. So that's my process. And then what I'll do next is I'll take it over to my printer. And I have a Canon IP8720 just before professional level. So I get some very nice quality prints from it the artwork, digital artwork prints that I'm getting. And I also do my photography. I print it on the same printer. And this is one of the images that I did. It's a barred owl. And yeah, so that's how I do it here. And then I have my cardstock here. We glue the picture on top. And I'll have a white cardstock that I put inside, so it's easy to write on. Package it up. And what you get is this picture here. Final product. Okay, so part of living here on our property is we're off grid, which brings a lot of challenges to doing my digital art. So we have a lot of battery packs. I think I have about eight, and I have to keep them charged. So this mobile unit has electricity but it's generator based so we don't run it too often I also charge my batteries in my vehicle I have a battery charger there but if I don't want to turn on the generator I have an oil lamp which is awesome because it generates heat and it's not some warm light which is nice originally I have this which is a 4 by 6 card I print out the image then I trim it so I have a nice square image. Oops, this one's better. <laughs> Let's have a nice square image. And this is just a four by six Canon photo paper. And it makes a difference if you have a Canon printer and you're using Canon photo paper, the inks work better with the paper. So you get a really nice quality. So then I use that glue tape. And I just stick it on the back. I usually eyeball it. Then, and I just hold. I use a scrap piece of paper so I don't get any marks or smears on the white cardstock. Envelope, leave. Most of my plastic bags are resealable.
Okay. This is uh, just a few samples. Just some pieces. And I'll have them for sale at the show as well. 